What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass, Bass Tone, Bass, Tone, 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 Tone Today we're gonna talk about stacking preamps and this is something that I got asked on a previous video about a growly P bass tone that I did I'm gonna put a card up here and also a link in the description below for you to check that out because you want to and in that video I used the Olympic preamp which is right here and I also used the YYZ but I used them separately and someone asked me if it was possible to use them both at the same time uh, you know, either to use different types of drive or if there was any use in having two different preamps in your signal chain so I want to talk about that today and the answer is yes, you definitely can there are many ways on how you can use two preamps at the same time um, so let's check out what we can do now right here I have the Olympic is the last thing in the chain and then we have the YYZ going before that and if I turn this off, here's how the bass sounds like I had both pickups on full and the tone control also fully open So here on the Olympic I'm boosting a bit of treble, boosting a bit of bass and I have the cabinet simulation happening if I turn this off We get a much more of the, that uh, tire top end But I had the cabinet on because we're using some drive here So if I turn this on character of the bass doesn't change that much when I have the YYZ engaged I set it up that way on purpose um, because you can use this for example as an always on sound so you dial that in and just play an entire show with this sound right or if you want, because they're roughly about the same level, you could keep the Olympic, you know, it, it has to be always on, there's no way to turn it off, but you could keep that as your main sound or your bass tone, pun intended. And then for certain sections, you can kick that in. For example, that would be one way to use both. And why uh, would you just, or why would you use the, the wireless separately from the the Olympic? First of all, if you want drive, um, the wireless is great for that, and you can get some saturation happening with the um, with the with the Olympic if you crank the gain, but the jazz bass, this one, doesn't have that much output so even if I boost, uh, let me check my levels, I don't want to clip uh, even if I boost the gain and I'm boosting the gain all the way and I'm not, I'm not still getting the amount of drive that I'm getting using the YYZ it sounds good but it's not, you know, really uh, in your face. Now, it's definitely a big difference using the gain of the Olympic and using a dedicated drive pedal. So that's one way to use two different preamps. Now, the other way is the EQ section of both works differently. So they sound different. You might like the EQ points of a preamp or you might like the EQ points of one preamp better than the other one so maybe you like the bass boost 
of the Olympic better than the one on the YYZ, maybe you like it the other way around. So that's another reason for having two different preamps. Now, right now I have both pedals set to roughly the same level so that if I... There's not a, you know, jump in, in volume or anything. And this is very useful when using several preamps to set them at unity gain so that if one of your pedal dies or, you know, you, you just step on one and you turn it off, that there are not like jumps in volume because what that does is that, first of all, if you're playing with front of house support, they're gonna either bump your volume or lower your volume. And then when you step on the pedal again, it's gonna change. And you know, if you have an, a, a big jump in volume, the sound engineer is gonna probably turn you down and you don't want that. So you, you wanna keep the volumes consistent across your signal chain. So you pay attention to that because if, for example, I go from this to this, That is a big, big difference. So you gotta be careful about that. But if you want to have a volume boost, definitely talk to the engineers. They, hey, you know what? In the chorus of, of most of the songs, I kick in this drive and there's a bit of a volume boost. And you know, that definitely helps to you know, control the situation. You might want to use the pedal or the drive to boost up a bit more signal so that the, um, the last preamp or your amp, for example, gets into, into distortion, to drive. And for that, I would, like I said, be careful about volume levels, but maybe you don't wanna have that much drive happening here on the YYC, for example. So I'm gonna pull back it again. they're roughly the same level, I would say. Right? Cool. Now I'm gonna boost, like I did before, the gain on the, on the Olympic all the way up. And I'm gonna put back on the volume here. Now, like I said, I'm not getting any drive. Now I'm getting a bit of drive, but it's not coming from the YYZ. It's different and the type of drive that you get this way is also different than if you were to use the drive of the YYC because it's a different kind of circuitry. You know, the Olympics a tube preamp with tube drive, this one is not. So you might experiment, want to experiment with that as well. The, like I mentioned earlier, and I want to repeat this because it's important. There is a volume boost. So you might want to talk to the engineer about it or put a compressor at the end to just even things out in case you are like, you know, bumping or stepping a lot on that pedal. Um, like I said, if possible, try to keep things at unity gain, that always helps. But if you need a boost, maybe when the guitar players are taking a solo or when you play a solo, for example, or, or the last chorus of a song you want to that to just push things a bit more that is another great way to use it and experiment with the order of the pedals as well that also changes things here i have to keep the olympic at the last position because this one has the uh, xlr out which i'm taking to record uh, but if you're playing just with an amp you know you can put them in different orders so you can have this at the beginning of the chain and then use the yyz at the end if you want and you know, experiment which one is going to be your, your core sound. And different pedals, like I said, have different EQ points, different ones work better in particular situations. So you might have three different ones and you have like, you know, the one that's always on for a clean tone, one with a 
slight a bit of dirt, one with more distortion, or you used the bass EQ of one and then the, the treble boost of the other one and maybe use the last one because that one has a, a really good DI output, for example. That is a great way to use uh, different preamps. In my case, for example, you probably don't see this, but here um, I have my Noble DI and it's not, not, not in the signal chain. But I have that always at the last spot of my pedal board um, because the DI sound of there is like amazing, right? So I want to feed everything into that and then send that to front of house. So I, I will place stuff before that, like EQ or, or drive with, you know, like the preamp EQ pedal and then feed that into the novel and also boost some EQ on the novel as well. And then that also goes into my amp. So you have many different options and approaches that you can use when combining preamps. Like I said, maybe you want to have the drive of one pedal and then the EQ section of the other one, or you want to keep both at the same level and have create kind of like an always on sound using both of them. You can use one to boost the other, or you want to have the DI out of one pedal because it sounds great. You place that one at last position. So you can com combine and experiment different preamps. You only have to pay attention, like I said, and I repeat because this is important, to the volume. Try to keep everything at unity gain if possible. If not, if you have some volume uh, boosts or you, know, you have different volume levels, tell the people that are running the sound because it's gonna impact the sound of the whole band as well. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and also which ones are your favorite bass preamps. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.